Good afternoon and welcome to another Beetle video, this is 2007 VW Beetle Convertible In this video I'm going to be diagnosing a faulty clutch Biting points a bit high. So I think I'll need to investigate a bit further. Can't confirm anything at this point. And uh, no, I'm not going to be doing any spanner in here. Although I could do. It means I'm going to bring all my tools. It might be a bit difficult, but it's certainly possible. Anyway, I'm going to have a look at the hydraulics, see if there's anything obvious. It might be something simple as fluid needing topping up and then a bit of bleed but I won't know until I look like every modern car everything is awkward to get to so I found that the brake fluid usually usually brake and clutch fluid if, if it's hydraulic I don't even know if it's hydraulic could be a cable clutch now as far as I can tell the, the fluid looks to be okay it's a bit hard to tell but not sure on camera, so I don't even know if it is a hydraulic clutch. Smoking near the footwell, I've got the clutch pedal. I usually tell if it's a if it's a cable or, or not. And <coughs> yeah, I would say that's a hydraulic clutch, yeah. There's a master cylinder find it down here in the engine bay so let's pull this engine cover off that's a typical modern car now that's the engine cover off that makes things a bit easier so yeah that's the uh, that's a brake master where right, the clutch is there See something down there? But I've no idea whether this is a shared brake and clutch master. It's usually compartmented if it's a shared one. But yeah, I, I would think the probably clutch is probably worn with the with the biting point being high, so. That's going to be a gearbox off job. And then there's a worry if, it's a, if it has a dual mass flywheel. I've got that to uh, contend with and that's that's more cost, that'll, that'll double the cost. Because they're, they're not cheaper, the dual mass flywheels. But some, I think somewhere down there is a, is a clutch master cylinder. So, some, so the slave, slave cylinder, I'm most probably going to drive the uh, gearbox is here, it's, it'll be under, under the battery and the, the air intake, so yeah I can see the gear, gear change cables, so the clutch 
slave shouldn't be too far away uh, I'm not going to go any further at this point I'd say it's most most likely the clutch uh, no I'll uh, price up a cost of a new clutch kit and just hope we don't need a, a flywheel so probably better do some research as well uh, find out a bit more about these cars see what see what they are Oh, this is the 1.6 petrol, by the way. So, I think I'd better do a bit of research. So, it's quite a few days later. Um, and instead of risking driving this car, because I've got a steep little contend with, I'm just going to put it on, on the airframe, put it on the back of there, just like I did when I picked up the BMW. So, what, what you do with the airframe, I'll just quickly show you. These just wrap round the lower suspension arms. Uh, I don't know well you can see that. I just turn the steering lock on. I just put the steering on for lock. And you probably see a bit better. See, got the suspension arm there. And the tune on the airframe goes round it. It's a bit hard to do this one handed. Now, Andy, there's a little hole in that suspension arm where I can put the chain through. And then, once that's all in place, it's secured. You'll put the other end of the chain into this strap, tighten the straps up, and it's ready to go. And I can talk with the airframe. So leave the key in position one so the, the steering can steer. Anyway, what I'll do is I'll put you on time lapse and then you can see me struggling or, or not. So the airframe's on, it's secure, and just need to do is a walk up to it. Now, two things you must do when you're toying with an airframe. First one is make sure the ignition key is in position one. You don't need to have the ignition on. See, that's saying with ignition on engine off, just turn it back one click. Not all the way back. We need to have uh, the steering lock off, so that's in position one. And the other important thing, make sure the handbrake's off. Because uh, I made the mistake of leaving the handbrake on when I picked up the BMW. And it ended up uh, mullering the, the rear brake drums. Which didn't get picked up until the MOT, but you live and learn. So don't make the same mistake as I did. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to reverse it up as far as I can. I should be able to just drag it that last little bit and getting it onto the airframe. I'm not trying to get it up on. Maybe not. Get it 
camera it's a better place So I've got it safely here and I've got a place here to work on. I can work it work on it here. Now I'm not sure whether to have it facing forwards or backwards. Tough call, because uh, the gearbox is on that side. It might be it might be better off here then I can uh, I'm a bit more sheltered. And the light's not a problem because I've got my work light that you saw in a previous video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna pull this forward, get the get it off the airframe, and then we'll uh, I'll decide where whether I'm gonna have it here, which way I'm gonna have it facing forwards or backwards. Because um, last time I did this clutch change, it I was facing facing backwards. But I think I'll, I'll drive it forwards. Oh, just one thing I want to point out. Uh, now normally I should have a, a trailer board for lighting, but it's still light, and it was only a short journey, so. I just shoved the airframe on and dragged it, so no, no problems on that score. Well, I took it for a quick drive up the road, so I could come down and drive straight in rather than uh, going to the way. And the clutch is definitely slipping, so I'm going to make the call, get a clutch kit order from Euro Car Parts, through about 65 quid. And I, I decided to uh, drive it forward. I'm, I've got somewhere sheltered that can work. Uh, Light's not a problem. You've know, got electric power. Can run, can run the extension around here if I, if I need to. So that's going to be the end of this particular video. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, ring that notification bell, and you get notified when my videos come out. So as ever, thanks for watching, and I'll see you.